The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been given many virtues and benefits that the average human being has not received. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, he said that he has been given five features, five abilities that no Prophet or Messenger before him has ever been blessed with. From among these five amazing characteristics is something called Jawami al-Kalim concise speech. Jawami al-Kalim, my dear brothers and sisters, is the ability to say a few words. However, those few words have such a large impact. They are so deep and so rich with beneficial knowledge. From among the words that the Prophet والسلام, has spoken, which is extremely beneficial, is pertaining to today's reminder. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhu wa ardahu and he is the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the hadith has been collected in the Sunan of Imam At-Tirmidhi and has been graded authentic. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam may peace be upon him said laysa minna man lam yuwakkir qabirana Again, لَيْسَ مِنَّا مَنْ لَمْ يُوَقِّرْ كَبِيرَنَا They are not from among us, those who do not respect their elders. Again, the Prophet ﷺ said, They are not from among us, those who do not respect their elders. My dear brothers and sisters, respecting elders is an extremely important aspect and characteristic of a Muslim. We as Muslims respect the elders around us, those whom we know, as well as those whom we do not know. From among those elders who are deserving the most of our respect, or of course our parents, our mother and our father, but also our grandparents, as well as any aunts or uncles or any elders within the community. The Prophet والسلام, frees himself from being connected to people who do not respect the elders within the community. Why? Because those elders, my dear brothers and sisters, they have been worshipping Allah longer than you. You may enter into the masjid and see an old man, and perhaps he is not the most friendly of men, but he strives to get to the front of the masjid. Or you see him sitting in the corner with the book of Allah. Know that although between you and that individual may be 20, 30, 40, or 50 years, know that that is 50 years that this sheikh or the sheikh, this old man or this old woman, has been worshipping Allah. Know that this elder has 50 years or 40 years of fasting that you do not have. Know that this elder has been giving in sadaqah and have been giving in charity for 40 years or 50 years that you have not been giving in charity. It is extremely important, my dear brothers and sisters, that we respect our elders. We must respect them for what they have done, for what they have sacrificed, for how they have carried themselves and have reached an elderly age while preserving and maintaining their Islamic identity. Respecting elders is a key component to the success of any community. And any community in which does not respect elders, you find that this is a community that is deteriorating from the inside out. You find that it is a community that has lost not only their own self-respect, but have lost their way, their value, their principles. As Muslims, we have been given an identity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as well as the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has not left us without guidance. The Messenger of Allah has given us guidance in the relationship to how we should interact with one another. And as the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, he said, that those who choose or decide that they will not respect their elders, then they should not consider themselves Muslim. Being a Muslim is not only worshipping Allah. Being a Muslim is not only fasting in Ramadan. Being a Muslim is not only going for Hajj. 
Being a Muslim is not only giving in charity nor stating the Shahada. There are much more things which go into the Muslim identity from among them is respecting our elders. We ask that Allah send his finest peace and blessings on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.